Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. I'm Andrea. And I'm Gabe. And we're still learning how to talk about part time jobs. Today's lesson is called A New Job. A new job for who? Well, I guess we'll find out. Let's start with our keywords. The first keyword today is list. List. I wrote a list of all my goals for this year. Earn. Earn. Amy has a good job. She earns a lot of money. Extra. Extra. Judy likes the dessert. Can she have an extra dessert to take home? Take up. Take up. Studying takes up a lot of Harry's time. He has little time to sleep. Future. Future. No one knows what will come in the future. We do know that it's time to review these keywords again. The first one is list. List. Earn. Earn. Extra. Extra. Take up. Take up. Future. Future. Okay, right now it's time for us to go to Eddie. He has today's mission for us. Hey, Eddie. Yes, I Ed have today's mission. That's great. We uh, want you to give it to us. Uh, uh, okay, okay, here it is. Who thinks Sarah is too young to work? Who thinks Sarah is too young to work? Well, I don't know. Let's go find out the answer to this mission in today's lesson. Sarah, are you sure you want a part-time job? No, I'm not. You sound like you want one. I know, but maybe I'm too young to work. My parents think so. Hi, Sarah. I have an idea. Make a list of the good and bad things about getting a job. That's a good idea. I like making lists. That is a good idea. Sarah likes making lists. Andrea, do you like making lists? Yes, I do like making lists. Every day I make a to-do list. I write down everything I have to do in the day so I don't forget anything. Well, Andrea, that's a good idea. Maybe some of you friends should also make lists. It can be helpful. Well, Andrea, do you like learning new keywords? I do, and I think we have a good one. That's right. The word is list. List. A list is something that you write down. You write many different things down to help you remember what you need to do or just to show you different kinds of things. A list. Maybe you write a shopping list before you go shopping. You write down all the things you want to buy on your list and then take your list with you when you go shopping. Now, Sam wants to tell Sarah to make a list of the good things and the bad things about getting a job. The good things can be called the pros and the bad things are called the cons. So Sam wants Sarah to write a list or make a list of the pros and cons of getting a job. It's always a good idea to do this before you make an important choice. Think about the good things, the pros and the bad things, the cons. Write them down on a list and that will help you make a decision. Yes, it's important to make good decisions. Well, friends, we have found the answer to our mission here. The mission is, of course, who thinks Sarah is too young to work?
Who thinks Sarah is too young to work? Her parents think so. Okay, here's my list. Great. What do you have? Well, if I get a part-time job, I can earn extra money. Right. And extra money helps. You can save some of it. You can also make new friends. I know. But be careful. Not everyone is really nice. Also, a job will take up your time. Well, I'm glad that Sarah did it. She made a list of the good and the bad things about getting a part-time job. And Gabe, what is a good thing about a part-time job? Well, if you have a part-time job, then you can earn extra money. And you can also make new friends at this new part-time job. You said earn extra money, friends. Let's look at these key words in that sentence. The first one is earn. Earn. Now, when you earn money, that means you get money because you work. When you earn money, you make money. You can use this word earn in another way too. Many times we earn money, but when you talk about earning a living, that means you are working so that you can have a good life and that you can live well. You earn a living. Right, and if you earn extra money, that means you have extra money, which is a good thing. It's also good to learn the next key word, extra. Extra. If you have extra, that means you have more than you need. If I have extra pens, that means I have pens that I can give to people who might need one. Do you have extra time? Can you help me with some of my homework? Well, one thing about a part-time job is that it can take up your time. That can be a bad thing, but let's take time to learn this keyword. Take up. Take up. Now, when you take up time, that means you use your time to do something. You can also use these two words like this. This table is so big, it takes up a lot of space in this room. Right, but I can learn new skills. That would be good for the future. I agree. My first part-time job was at a circus. A circus? What did you do there? I was a clown. <laughs> <laughs> a clown? Really? What skills did you learn? I learned to perform and make others laugh. That must have been fun. Well, I'm off to work. See you, ladies. Bye. Bye. Well, I'm off to work. That's what Simon says. I'm off to work. Now, when you're off to go somewhere, that means it's time for you to go to that place. So Simon is going to go to work. He's off to work. You can say I'm off to the movies. I'm going to the movies. Or I'm off to my friend's house. That means I'm going to my friend's house. That's right. Friends, are you a student? Are you off to school right now? Are you off to the doctor's office? Well, we have more to learn in this conversation. We have a key word here. It is the word future. Future. The future is time or things that have not yet happened. They are in the future. Right. Anything from now on is the future. You can ask someone, what do you want to do in the future? Or what do you want to be in the future? Yes. Now, this is the word for things that have not happened yet, the future. What about things that have already happened? Well, we call that the past, P-A-S-T. Inspector E. 
Hi friends, it's Mrs. E here. This week we meet a new friend. She wants to work at the diner. And she tells Max something very interesting. Let's take a look again. Why don't I sing another song? Why don't I sing another song? Why don't I sing another song? So our new friend says, why don't I sing another song? Let's look at the sentence. The sentence starts with why, but is this sentence a question? No, this sentence is not a question. Our friend is not asking a why question. Instead, she is suggesting something. Many times we use why don't you, why don't I to give a suggestion. For example, why don't I buy some food for us? Why don't I ask for directions? These are all suggestions of why don't I do something? I can do this. And sometimes this kind of sentence can also be a way of telling someone what to do. Let's try some examples. Why don't you get some ice cream for her? Or Jack, why don't you go to your room now? I need to talk to your sister. Now why don't you practice what you just learned? Remember, use it or lose it. This is Mrs. E signing off. Conversation Replay Sarah, are you sure you want a part-time job? No, I'm not. You sound like you want one. I know, but maybe I'm too young to work. My parents think so. Hi, Sarah. I have an idea. Make a list of the good and bad things about getting a job. That's a good idea. I like making lists. Okay, here's my list. Great! What do you have? Well, if I get a part-time job, I can earn extra money. Right, and extra money helps. You can save some of it. You can also make new friends. I know. But be careful. Not everyone is really nice. Also, a job will take up your time. Right, but I can learn new skills. That would be good for the future. I agree. My first part-time job was at a circus. A circus? What did you do there? I was a clown. <laughs> A clown? Really? What skills did you learn? I learned to perform and make others laugh. That must have been fun. Well, I'm off to work. See you ladies. Bye! Bye. Calendar Phrase Guess what, Andrea? I got the job! You got the job? I got the job! I got the job! I got, got the job. job! I got the job! I That's got right. The job. And that is today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. Friends, today's phrase is I got the job. I got the job! You have been looking for a job because you want to work and earn money. And now you have a job, you can say, I got the job. I got the job. Usually it's very good news. That's right. And now it's time for us to go and listen and learn more about today's calendar phrase in the skit. I got the job. I, I got, got the job. job. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got the job. I got the job. Hey guys, guess what? I got the job! Really? That's great. Yeah! I'm so happy I got the job. Wait, what job? I tried to get a job as a server and I got the job! You got the job? Yes, I got the job. Congratulations! I got the job. I got the job. Okay, friends, do you know what time it is? 
Andrea, do you know what time it is? It is time to practice with the question, question of, of the day. day. <laughs> Eddie, I yeah. see you're ready too. I am ready. I had some extra practice to, to give it to you today. Thank you, Eddie. Good. Well, take up some time and share it with us. Okay, here it is. Have you ever had a part-time job? Tell about it. If not, would you like one? Have you ever had a part-time job? Tell about it. If not, would you like one? Well, yes, I have had many part-time jobs. One of my part-time jobs was to be a server or a waitress at a restaurant. Now, it was fun, but it was also a lot of hard work. Well, you look like you would be a good server. Did you earn a lot of money? Well, I didn't earn that much money, but it was a good experience. It is a good experience. Friends, how would you answer this question? Well, thank you for being here with us today on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can be fun. fun. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.